Hey everyone, Nuno here and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you guys how to build very simple cul-de-sacs and this can be used on your uh, little neighborhoods if you want to bring a bit more realistic into it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Um, I'm using Aisha Town as a good example. Now look at this, this could be a good location for a cul-de-sac. Why? Because you don't have any buildings in here and it kind of ends the road in there like it's a dead end. To do that, you're gonna need two mods. Essential mods, just one in fact, which is the Move It. But it is recommended to add the ploppable asphalt because that mod also allows you to give a bit more uh, realistic to the look and feel. Now, an um, optional mod is to have the road networks, which will give you different kind of roads that you can play with. All right, so the trick in here is to in this situation to build a street and then where you want to do the cul-de-sac you just go to the street uh, on the on the next side so this is a normal street so you want to do uh, a cul-de-sac with the medium street so like you guys say small road which is this one I, I call it normal street but it's a two-lane road from the small roads and then you want to move into the medium roads which is the next one um, not this one, which is our, these are the small heavy roads. This is from the skin network or the road network. Um, so you want to jump into the um, medium sized roads and you want to go, for instance, with this one, the four lane road. Now you just want to place a little bit of it, two units up to three units, that's it. And the next thing you want to do is with move it, you want to turn on snapping and you want to move it until you find, uh, well, for me, it's when the pole disappears. Let me just bring it in a little bit more. You guys, not this one, sorry, uh, this one. So you guys can see when the pole disappears, you know, the lighting pole, when it disappears, that's, that's good for me. Um, so that by itself could be enough, but because you have these crossing lines and you may not want to have them on the neighborhood because it may look bad, that's why you would want to use the ploppable asphalt. Now, um, there's quite a few that you can use. Uh, for me, what works the best is the, uh, um, the R69 ploppable asphalt, uh, the square one, 60 square. Uh, where I can just you know place it like this and yeah that's basically it um, I just place this other one now there's still this little bit uh, of uh, from the prop itself I think you can remove it by using like a circle uh, which which one is it the 69 asphalt circle 8 and yeah that's basically it and you have a little uh, cul-de-sac over here that you can use for finishing your neighborhoods uh, and eventually do whatever you want. You could also place in here some buildings using Rico. Um, by the way, I don't think I have any Rico building I can place in here. Um, but either way, you can place some buildings and then use move it to just move them around in your uh, cul-de-sac or in your uh, neighborhood. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. That's very easy to do. Um, if you do not want to use the ploppable asphalt, I think that's okay also. Uh, but it, it will not look as good as uh, the other ones. Uh, if you have the road network, you can use different kind of roads. For instance, we can use this one, which, which are the tiny roads. Uh, we can use this one, which is very tiny. Just build it, build the houses over there. And then for the cul-de-sac, you want to use the next one, which is the small road. You can use the normal one, uh, go up to two, up to three units, and uh, next use move it, and uh, it should create a cul-de-sac. I mean, you may want to use it to, well, you can add it over there like that, and you have like a small cul-de-sac for a small road. Either way, guys, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if this was useful, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more of this kind of content if you guys um, want to. If you have any kind of suggestion for content that you would like me to do, just leave a comment down below and I will try to do it. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you soon on my next video. Cheers.